Hi friends. In this video, we will explore the top 20 interview questions asked in pharmaceutical quality control interviews. So, let's start. Question 1. What is the role of quality control in pharmaceuticals? Answer. QC ensures that raw materials, intermediates, and finished products meet predefined quality standards. It involves testing and analytical activities to ensure compliance with regulatory requirements and product safety. Question 2. How does QC differ from quality assurance? Answer. QC focuses on testing and inspecting products for quality during and after production. While QA focuses on processes and systems to prevent quality issues. Question 3. What are the main responsibilities of a QC professional? Answer. The responsibilities of a QC professional are Conducting routine testing of raw materials, intermediates and finished products. Ensuring compliance with pharmacopoeial standards. Investigating out of specification and out of trend results. Calibrating and maintaining analytical instruments. Question 4. How do you ensure compliance with good laboratory practices? Answer. I ensure GLP by maintaining proper documentation, using validated methods, conducting regular training, and adhering to standard operating procedures for laboratory procedures. Question 5. What is the principle of HPLC? Answer. HPLC separates compounds based on their interactions with the stationary phase and mobile phase under high pressure. Question 6. What are the applications of UV visible spectroscopy in QC? Answer. UV visible spectroscopy is used in QC for quantitative analysis of drugs, identification of impurities, measuring absorbance for dissolution studies. Question 7. What is the purpose of Carl Fisher titration? Answer. Carl Fisher titration measures water content in pharmaceutical samples with high precision. Question 8. How do you perform calibration of a pH meter? Answer. I calibrate using standard buffer solutions, particularly pH 4, 7 and 10 and verify the readings within the acceptable range. Question 9. What is the difference between GC and HPLC? Answer. GC is used for volatile and thermally stable compounds. HPLC is used for non-volatile and thermally sensitive compounds. Question 10. Why is documentation important in QC? Answer. Proper documentation ensures traceability. Regulatory Compliance and Reliability of Test Results Question 11. What is the significance of GMP in QC? Answer. GMP ensures consistent quality during manufacturing by adhering to approved processes and QC checks. Question 12. How do you handle deviations in a QC lab? Answer. I always document the deviation. Investigate the root cause, assess its impact, and implement corrective and preventive actions. Question 13. What are good documentation practices? Answer. GDP ensures records are accurate, legible, and timely, following ALCOA principles that is attributable, legible, contemporaneous, original, and accurate. Question 14. How do you ensure data integrity in a QC environment? Answer. I ensure data integrity by following ALCOA Plus principles, implementing audit trails, reviewing data thoroughly, and training employees. Question 15. What is an OS result? Answer. An OS result occurs when a test result falls outside predefined specifications or acceptance criteria. Question 16. How do you handle an OS result? Answer. 
I always document the OS result immediately. Conduct a preliminary investigation for lab errors. If no errors are found, initiate a full-scale investigation. Question 17. What is the difference between OS and OT? Answer. OS is any result outside specified limits. While OT is any result deviating from established trends but within specifications. Question 18. How do you manage repeat OS results? Answer. I investigate the issue thoroughly, involve cross-functional teams, and implement Kappa to prevent recurrence. Question 19. Why is trend analysis important in QC? Answer. Trend analysis helps identify gradual shifts in test results, preventing potential quality issues before they occur. Question 20. How do you ensure proper calibration of lab instruments? Answer. I ensure proper calibration by adhering to a predefined calibration schedule using certified standards and documenting calibration results. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get regular updates. Join channel membership to access exclusive content like courses and member-specific videos.